Hey there YouTube, I'm Ikitsu, this is the Ikitsu Times, welcome to my channel, welcome back to a little bit of Ixion, where we're basically in a new sector, this is chapter 2 of the game. So, this one's got a couple unique gimmicks, um, there's this area here, this is cold weather, where uh, the Tycoon is going to have some problems if it's in there, specifically our solar panels are going to break, and um, we're going to have like our hull deplete a little bit faster than normal, and if we're working on the hull with our crew, uh, they actually get killed off faster, so we don't want to be in there until the last moments when we have to be in there to do something before we jump. The other is this weird whatever this is, like Ion Storm or something like that. Probes that we send through there, ships that we send through there, and the Tycoon itself get destroyed if we send them in there, so we have to go either go around it or find some other way. And there is a planet tucked away back there that we want to investigate, but nothing too important. What we're going to be focusing on, like I said sort of at the end of last episode, is once again getting ourselves into the position where we're getting lots of resources and then using those resources to do some impressive stuff here. Science ship here, the Mendelev, is going to go right away into Falcon 74 where it's not going to be able to do too much. And in terms of the internals here, what we want to be doing right now is not really that important. Uh, we have to have a section ready to build colonists, which is kind of irrelevant for right now. Um, we've got decent amounts of workers, we've got decent happiness, we've got decent sort of like everything right now. We're pretty happy with a lot of the uh, stuff that's going on here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and establish the infrastructure to support exploration and geological analysis. This is the best uh, way to get science out of this, but uh, it is the most expensive. So it's going to depend on how you've been doing on keeping your alloy count high. And our alloys are at 493, and we've got a ton of iron. So uh, we're doing pretty good. Um, now, our hull integrity is going to be dropping faster than it was in even the previous sector, but honestly, I, at such a high amount that I should probably turn that off. Um, so yeah, our main goals are uh, get science uh, by doing these sort of research spots, get new uh, mineable resource spots, get uh, essentially uh, enough stuff in here to keep going, but we, we don't really need anything in here right now. Infrastructure is not our main goal right now. Uh, we do have to keep up on food, but what we also want is to get enough uh, stuff to start building more ships again. Uh, we want to have like two full docking bays worth of stuff is what would be ideal. That would be perfect if we could get that. Um, so we got this thing down here. I'm hoping that we get another probe done pretty soon here. This does give us these uh, two sources of uh, carbon. Unfortunately, they're pretty small. Got a new quest over here. This is, I think might be the... Um, oh, this is one where they're happy about all the stuff that I've done. So they're just happy. That's fine. Uh, there's going to eventually be a quest where I have to turn off all of my factories, and that's going to really suck, but that's apparently for later me's to worry about. Um, what I might actually do here, and what I should do, is up-prioritize this and down-prioritize that, because I do want to get access to the the um, polymers so that I can build another mining ship pretty soon here. We've got some other science stuff that we can get some right over here. This is actually going to be our best and biggest source of iron for a really long time, but uh, don't technically need that like right right now. Um, if you want to stay stable at this point in time, it's actually <coughs> it's actually kind of impossible. What you'll do is you'll turn on two EVA airlocks, and that will actually get you a high positive. So we can't really get anything that'll just keep us nice and stable at a low value where we keep our high efficiency. It just doesn't work like that here, unfortunately. So we are going to have to do uh, slightly different stuff here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit here. And, uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys once we've sort of um, got a bunch of the stuff that we're trying to get done set up here. I am going to prioritize getting another source of carbon scanned here. There's plenty on this uh, section of the map, so it's not exactly that difficult to find. There we go. Big, big source of carbon. But, uh, yeah. We'll just uh, start, start scooping up some of the resources, and I'll get back to you guys once we've finished uh, this tech and start working on the next one. Okay, so we've arrived at DOG uh, 0202, so it's a mining ship that we uh, see blown up here. So, yeah, this is basically a ship that uh, got blown up here, uh, killed pretty quickly Minecraft from the Protagoras. Um, we're going to go ahead and investigate what happened here. The most important thing is that this will give us a ton of alloys, which, again, are not that important for us here. Now, 
We have got a quest now to open up another 100 pods. It's good that we still got 100 pods. I kind of sort of stood on having that so that we'd be able to do this. Uh, we're going to shuffle all these people over into this sector here because we don't have that many workers. And we kind of want to have at least 400 people in each sector as kind of a minimum. But um, 800 is eventually the number that we're going to try and aim for. So right now we got this going on. What do they want? Uh, for this one, you're supposed to promise that science ship team casualties will not rise above 5 while in the Morton system. Um, I'm not actually sure why you say that one as opposed to the other one, but you can actually get through here without anyone dying. It's just kind of tricky. Um, I forgot to actually get the science out of here. It doesn't actually matter that much right now, but let's continue getting our these things done. So we'll just send this guy back over there and collect the science when we finish uh, investigating what we're currently investigating. Honestly speaking, like the techs that we're trying to get here aren't really going to be important until we need our science ship doing stuff anyway. And what's really important is that I get more polymers so I can get more probes and so that we can get more ships. Still not quite able to do that just yet. But uh, yeah, it's going to be just us doing this sort of stuff for a little while here. Um, could go through this a little bit faster and just check to see what these guys are doing because we're not doing anything really that active right now. We're just sort of occasionally going in, checking to make sure that our population numbers are doing okay. Uh, we still got like 32, we got 40 spots left in Sector 2 and we've got uh, not a ton of space left in this sector, but we got a decent amount. Um, we will have to build another housing block pretty soon here, but we do want to get the efficiency upgrade that increases the amount of people that can be in there. Yeah, so after we get rid of the that, we're able to get navigation from the ship's onboard computer for a whole bunch of uh, stuff there. We can also determine what caused the death of this. Um, might as well do that now. But um, this is basically this section of the game. It's pretty chill. We've got plenty of resources the way that we played this. We've got tons of resources coming in. And we're not in any hurry about anything. Like, we're very relaxed about uh, our current position in the galaxy. Uh, we're going to have a much harder time once we start having to, like, demolish stuff. That's going to make things a little bit more awkward, but... Science continues to be a major bottleneck resource, so... Do you have to keep that in mind? I hate finding these plants down here. Alright, there we go. Got that running. We'll be fine. That's not really a big deal there. I'm just going to double check to make sure all our sectors are working properly here. Check our power. Always want to keep like a bit of an eye on all those numbers just to make sure nothing too terrible is about to happen based on them because sometimes something terrible just happens based on your numbers. Um, also want to check like how much carbon have we really got here because those are all sort of small deposits. But I think we're in a good spot to make another mining ship here. I think we're in a good spot to throw out yet more probes. Um... So I want this first. I think I want this first. We also do want to find the other points of interest, but we can go ahead and just do this for now. Okay, so we got a lot of the science to scoop up here, so we'll just get this, then we'll go over here, and then we'll go over to Parenti. Uh, that's sort of the order of operations we're probably going to do here. So Plymouth 37, we can get that later. Our new, this thing, we're going to go ahead and make him like this. And we're going to do this over here. While it's not important for us to get lots of iron right now, we do still need it. And we've also got plenty of science income right now, so we'll be getting that first tech done pretty soon. Now, when we get a new science ship, there's actually somewhere I want to send it right away. Because once we get it... Um, there's actually a quest that requires us to basically sacrifice a science ship, which is really stupid. Not super happy about that, but it is one of the quests that sort of exists, so. Um, do I want to get that ready just yet? The answer is probably no. 
I think we'll worry about that a little bit later. Uh, so for a science ship, we've got the emergency cryopods are for that tech. I guess I'll get it now. I don't have anything else I really, really need to get right now. Um, housing is doing okay. But yeah, uh, we'll get back to you guys uh, just as soon as we're on to our next uh, quest here, after we've scooped up all the science, basically. Okay, and we're back. So we've scooped up all that science here, we've unveiled more of the stuff out there. So this is Mac R. This is a very special planet in that you need to have the cryonics pod to do it safely, and you're going to lose your science ship and all the experience that your science ship has. So we absolutely do not want to send Mendeleev over there, although it is possible to actually get through there without that happening. I forget the specifics. Um, but we're over here on Parenti, and this is where we have another stupid thing. So, set of advanced infrastructure for meteorological analysis and simulation. This gives us by far the best science. Um, what we're seeing here is basically uh, Parenti 85's atmosphere. Equipment has been deployed, but the gravity of the planet may complicate our operations. Visibility is nil. Atmospheric gross factors are negligible. So, there is something called the deep dive apparatus, and we needed to research that. We already did. It makes it so that our science ship can get deep to the core of the planet without uh, being exposed there. Um... So you do have to have that tech to be able to do this. Some of them, it actually lets you do it without the tech, and then your crew all dies. Um, so you just sort of have to make sure you know which of these you're going to be doing. So we're going to go ahead and grab this and get that started. And this is the sector where all of those techs sort of come into play. Um, you've got the deep dive, you've got the repatriation, you got the... Uh, I, I don't actually think repatriation works. I'm, I'm really pretty sure it doesn't, but... All right, let's uh, continue. Find Actually, let's do these ones. Because this is the direction that we want to send our main science ship in in a little bit. Admittedly, I have to also send it down to Plymouth and Fargo, but it doesn't really matter too much what order you do all this in. You're going to be here a while. There's a lot of resources to scoop up in this place. There's lots of probes that you have to manufacture. There's lots of uh, other stuff that has to go on here. And as you can see, we're still safe to sit here for a very long time. Our, our stuff is not running out that badly. Polymers, still the gateway uh, that are blocking us. I had a quest where I had to turn off our food policy over here. All you do is you turn it off immediately, and then after 15 days you turn it back on. Uh, so even though people are whining and stuff like that, you know, it doesn't really matter. I did actually add another cryonic uh, cryo center um, to make it so that we could unlock people a little bit faster. So I just have to keep an eye on our population here, make sure that we're not too far over. We want to finish this uh, stupid quest here, and this helps with that. Okay, so I grabbed Reorganization of Care, because I actually want to get some other techs for a little bit, but actually I should probably just go back to doing this thing. Okay, so we can send the Xanadu over to Mac R, and this way we have, like, zero... Uh, problems with our crew uh, and zero experience points and you can just really not care about its existence here. Makes it safer to uh, sacrifice. Alright, so this is where we also find another planet that we can scan. God, I hate trying to find these. I'm just innately bad at this kind of thing. There we go. Now that we have so many more workers, it is safe for us to, for example, turn on this docking bay and start getting more of these uh, cargo ships, which would be good. And since that is the thing that we're going to try and do, we are going to set it up so that we're going to store 20 of the polymers in this sector instead of sending them all immediately to sector 1. And that should be good. We're just about out of uh, people to unlock out of their pods. I'm really happy that that's happening. We have barely enough for this quest. I wonder what happens if you don't have enough pods for that quest. It's like, you need to unlock this many pod people. It's like, we don't have that many pod people to unlock. It's like, well, tough shit. You need to do that. The reason that that's frustrating in particular is because the reason they're asking you to unlock them is because they're uncomfortable living amongst the pod people. Uh, so very, very stupid. Um, okay, so I have to shut down the factories in Sector 6 for 10 cycles because of the high noise and smoke. So this is a challenging one. Um, you just have to make sure that you have enough resources to keep going with what you've got. Uh, I can fully afford to turn off our factories for the time being. So We have loads and loads and loads of alloys. We've got enough polymers to keep throwing up probes, which is all we really care about right now. Um, so I just have to be doing this for 10 cycles. That's, that's pretty bad. It, it is honestly pretty bad. I do dislike this quest. 
it's like, yeah, you know, you guys know if we don't have alloys, like, the ship explodes, like, we'll all die. It's like, yeah, but it's noisy. It's like, can you, can you not, like, walk a neighborhood over? Like, is it is that somehow impossible? Can you not do that? Could you just please try that for me? They're like, no. Yeah, I, I kind of hate everybody on board the ship. They're all assholes. Anyway, um, should be able to start getting a little bit of silicone here as well into our diet. It's not that important right now, especially because we can't easily operate that stuff, but that is probably fine for the time being. But uh, yeah, we're just going to sort of um, have things go as they're going. Um, the main problem with this one is like you get a sort of planetary collapse thing going on. Okay, so this one is the one that gets us like the most stuff, essentially. Um, and again, we have to send some resource ships to go and deal with this. I'm actually going to hit this for the time being. Um, but yeah, basically, like, uh, after you do all this stuff, the planet basically explodes or whatever. Yeah, I can't really do that right now. Um, uh, but what we're pretty much going to be doing is thawing the ice by venting the Xanadu's fuel cells. This gets us a lot of the resources, uh, and a lot of science, but it does do that thing where the ship explodes. Uh, I think it's actually possible for me to do this and not have that event happen, but we get a lot less resources. Uh... I'm actually I'm actually considering doing it the other way just because I feel like it. Um, I just have to double check like how much resources I'm losing because I think you lose like 30 science or something like that, which is pretty bad. Um, but it's 25 polymers versus 30 science. I'm pretty sure. So I I, I do think the science is more worth it. Still, it's going to take a while before I'm allowed to start this because I don't want to do it while this guy's still waiting for resources. Um, and that's going to take a little while before that's filled up there. Because I don't want to have two of these transport ships uh, working on missions while we only have three transport ships. Uh, so we'll be back. I'll think about it. I'll contemplate. I'll meditate on it. But uh, yeah, for now, that's going to be what we're doing. Okay, and we are back. So we've finished the quest at Parenti. I did opt to just do the station here at Mac R, which I think avoids it blowing up, but I don't really remember. It's only 15 science difference, which is still kind of big, actually, but... The nice thing is that it gives us actually quite a lot of polymers. So we've finished that, we're going to get a lot of science out of there. You get a lot of science when you jump to these new sectors. So hoping that we keep that science ship there, I can't remember for sure. Uh, we finished getting all our pods open, so we're going to get rid of one of these for a little bit. Um, we filled in this guy completely, and that's a bit of a problem, but uh, since these guys are turned off, that's why these filled in so quickly. Uh, the thing is, we can easily go ahead and uh, just shuffle which one's open. So if, if you've got space, then that's fine. You can now turn these guys on again, and that is going to be good. Are you serious? Uh, Pledge to construct a new source of food within 30 cycles. That's actually really silly because we have a second one. Usually that doesn't stop. That usually doesn't happen when we've got a second food source. Um, what's going to have to happen here, because the way that this is going, is we're going to have to build a... Actually... Oh, it already completed. Okay, because we do have the mushrooms. It's weird that they requested it at all. Like, it should just not show up, in my opinion. But, whatever. But, uh, yeah, like, we're sort of reaching some points here where we're a little bit more, like, resource-intensive. But um, the recycling plant is what we're researching next, and that's going to help us uh, along the way, I think, quite a lot. Should have enough room to place uh, a couple of them up here. Even though we won't have, like, a ton of room for a lot of them or anything like that, we've got room for some, which is really all we care about here. Uh, what do you guys want? Pledge to construct an alternative life center in Sector 1 within 10 cycles. That's fine. Okay, that's okay. We, we've got resources for an alternative life center over here. Um, we do still want some room for, like, another uh, probe launcher or EV center here, but... We've got the ability to do something like this here. Um, I think what we'll do is like this, and then we can squeeze some batteries behind it. So that ought to do. And this will help with uh, deconstructing this cryonic center, which we're just doing because we want the resources and the space a little bit. If you're wondering also about our housing, uh, we've actually gained more because we've got the extra beds tech, which increases the amount of that that we have going on, um, making it easier. Okay, we can go back in here. 
This is why this is kind of a stupid thing. We can go back and just re-restrict it. They're like, we want more food, and we're like, okay, here, have more food. And then uh, as soon as they forget about uh, the fact that they requested that, we just take it away again. Um, you know, we're on a survival crunch. This is important. All right. So, yeah, we're going to be doing these two spots for a little while. We'll be getting quite a lot of science out of them. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to clear out quite a lot of uh, the tier of tech that we're in, but I'm not holding my fingers crossed for that. Uh, lots of workers here, even though we're on more workers per uh, job. Same thing over here. This place actually has less workers per job, as does this place. So we could probably revoke that rule in uh, one of those, those spots there, but we're doing kind of okay for now. I would like to get more mushroom wells pretty soon here, but... The bottleneck right now is going to be keeping a lot of these things available. Alright, so uh, yeah, that's uh, roughly how things are going over here. I forgot to actually read the quest for this, but uh, it's basically you find a lot of interesting discoveries at the core of the planet there underneath that. Nothing too special, nothing too radical or anything like that. Um, I sort of like scuffed the lore of this game a little bit by just sort of glazing through it a little bit too much. Um, I have read most of it at one point though, but... Like I said before, it's not actually necessarily text that adds a ton of information that we need to know. Um, and usually it doesn't actually help us get through the quest any safer or more effectively or give us the maximum values. Alright, so we got all that science. Mendeleev is going to head over to Rokotensky. As you might notice, we have no probes being produced because we don't have enough polymers. I do want to get the polymer thing done over here first. Then we can start doing some other stuff here. Got access to that waste treatment plant. Um, at this point in time, what we'll probably do is just rush through all of the rest of these things, including, and most importantly, probably colonization center. Um, because that's a building that we're going to actually need to use pretty soon. Uh, functionally, the colonization training center makes it so that you can change people from being just like regular dudes to colonists, which is kind of just a normal person anyway. They don't really do anything. They don't contribute anything. They're not workers. Uh, but you can throw them onto a planet and have them do some stuff. What that stuff is, slightly nebulous. Okay. Now, I'm kind of wondering if I can fit in two of these guys over here. Kind of? I would have to sort of demolish this house, which would technically be fine. Not sure I really want to do that. I think for now we'll just leave this be at one, but the reason I would want more is because we want to turn this into a sector that's got the recycling bonus, which is very good and very important. So we'll do that. We'll uh, transfer over some of these things over here. And one of the biggest reasons why this is an important tech to have is because we can start getting more electronics out of these guys, um, which is probably stronger than doing some of the other stuff we could be doing. What's going on over here? We got a quest? We got a quest. What do you want? Alright. Okay, so now that they know that uh, of why the attacks are happening and stuff like that, people are unhappy, I have to change some of these uh, things here. I probably want to switch you guys over to food normal, or I could do working hours normal. Um... Given the nature of this sector, I think actually I'm going to set working hours to normal. And we're going to shuffle some workers over here probably, because I think we can. Oh no, um, wait, what? That's weird, okay. So let's just turn this off for now. Or, uh, no, we can keep that on for a little bit. We'll turn off the mushroom wall. Okay, over here, we're still happy. Over here, we're negative. We've moved a lot of new workers over here, so I can change the worker policy over here to normal. But this place, we can also actually build our... Um, actually, we have an alternative life center. Is this the one that doesn't? No, we have them in all sectors. Okay, interesting. Yeah, so just have to sort of wait until we can actually get this uh, stuff done, I guess. It's fine. Just as long as work conditions are optimal in all three sectors, we're kind of okay here, though. All right. 
Uh, looks like we got a new probe built, so that must mean we've got some stuff in here. Um, yeah, what I probably want to do is work on getting another happiness tech pretty soon here, but we can make our um, food production sector uh, happier by making them a level 2 food production sector, which might be a good goal to have pretty soon here. Because what that would do is it would get us that extra point of happiness, but it would also put us a long way towards uh, some other stuff that we have as goals. Still, though, this is roughly where we are. This is roughly what we're doing at this stage of the game. Going to be a little while before we have anything too new or too interesting going on, but for now, um, I'll be back once we've got... Oh, I guess we can do this. Uh, once we've got some of these other uh, spots unlocked here. I'll do this for first here. So, yeah, um... We've managed to extract like the stuff that was down here. We got the uh, there was a science ship that crashed here. Blah blah blah. It was like frozen in there. Um, talks a little bit about the Protagoras again, but nothing too crazy going on here. The nice thing though is the technology upgrade for the high quality lubricants for the workshop, which uh, we're not going to bother getting, but uh, we do have access to it now. So that is how things are over here, and we don't get the quest that blows up the ship, so that's nice. Over here, once again, uh, the more expensive uh, outposts are usually going to give us the best science results, so we're going to do that yet again. So that is how we're doing things over on Rokotansky. Um, this place is weird, uh, because it renames the scientists that are here, which doesn't really do much else. Like, there's some weird alien-y kind of stuff, basically. Um, not 100% sure why uh, that is, even after having read about it, but... So yeah, um, we'll be back in just a little bit here. Okay, back yet again. Just hopping back and forth a lot. Um, yeah, so we got this one finished. This one's weird. So, now we have those extra resources that we sent them. They can get through the ice. The cave extends deep into the comet. Gravity is even stronger within the, it than on the surface. So... Yeah, uh, floating gray sphere. We don't know anything about it. It's probably like some weird alien thing. Has a strong electromagnetic field and emits a faint bluish glow. So very, very, uh, yeah. So, um, this one, I do believe that you just get killed if you actually do this, but I will double check actually. Um, Yep, yep, that one does definitely kill you. I mean, this one actually does imply it pretty clearly, uh, but yeah, I, I just want to double check. So we do pick Leave the Planet. That takes a cycle, which is a little bit peculiar for a Leave the Planet option. Um, and we're going to find some interesting stuff has happened. We're also just researching Plymouth 37. This is another planetary survey thing where we send a base there, and it does exactly the same thing as the previous ones, but nothing too special about that planet. It's very toxic and awful looking. Um... Now, we will be wanting to move up towards Rokotansky later so that we can get probes down here because that's the place that you can do that safely from and then find some other stuff. But, uh, yeah. Um, Clean security protocols indicates that the crew on board Mendelev is not the original crew. After intense questioning and observation via the ship's onboard surveillance system, it appears that these crew members are indeed human, possess a good knowledge of Bill's protocol and procedure. They stubbornly insist that they've always worked on Tycoon, but their biometric data does not match with any crew register records. So in other words, like, they just have different names and are different, like, genetic people after coming in contact with that thing. Um, if we do this, we blow them up and kill them all. The Naomi protocol is we just write down, okay, you know what, you guys, you, you were, sure, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so that weird thing changed them in some ways. Uh, this, surprisingly enough, does not harm us in any way, shape, or form. Um... So, Liang Li's new identity is now Casper Hapman, uh, and so on and so forth. So we just rename them all. Do we care? Not really. Um, lots of signs from that one. Yeah, so that's a very, very strange quest. That one's one of the more peculiar ones. Um, in any event, we're at the stage where we do want to build a colonization training center. I can't actually build it because we don't have the uh, resources for it. I want to get rid of this guy here so we can also build a road down this way. Again, because of the boosts to our habitation from tech, uh, it is much easier for us to do that now than it was previously. Um, but yeah, like we just sort of have to continue along. 
Uh, one of the reasons why I really want to get to tier 3 on our tech here is that it will let me get the bonus for the alternative life center and the DLS centers, which can give us an extra two points of stability. Uh, I could also get the demotic quarters and start upgrading to those, although those, those cost electronics, so that would not be really smart right yet. So all of those sort of things combined, though, would give me a lot of access to uh, a lot of different things. So something to look forward to, something I want to have, but can't really get just yet. Getting this thing working would also be fantastic, because then I could get chips. But for now, we do have uh, some silicone coming in. Not right now, but it should be coming in fairly soon, honestly. Uh, and once we get that rolling, we can start getting uh, more resources done. I think they're just busy getting carbon first. So that's kind of how things are right now. Um, we just sort of have to continue waiting. Always waiting. Perpetual, forever, eternal. Um, what we want to do for our jumps as well is to jump to Parenti. Which is not too di too difficult, and then we can jump from there to Rokitansky. Um, I might start building a couple more batteries right now. Just because um, we could, but we are a little bit low on alloys right now. We're not doing super well on that right now. Shuffle all of these uh, electronics that we do have over to here, get this uh, started as soon as we can. We might just shuffle around workers. I probably... I don't think we really need to, necessarily. The team was able to survey one of the many crystalline cavities beneath Plymouth's 37's surface. Basically, just big, toxic crystals. Okay, great. Um, not, they, they just do some study. It's not really that important. Um, if I recall correctly, this does absolutely nothing. The cave dwelling, I think, is perfectly safe for us to do, but also provides us no nothing. So um, we'll do it anyway, but I don't think it matters. Uh, I think it's literally just safe to do and does not provide anything. All right, uh, so Mendeleev uh, needs to head over to Deville 59, which we are not technically prepared to do, but that's okay. We rarely are when we first get there. What we need to do that is actually have this available, and if we have that available, we can sort of uh, get by here. All right, so I'm just going to do that, and then we can put some battery over here or something like that, and that's fine. It's not great. It's not ideal, but, um, you know, we can do batteries in here or something like that. There are some 5x5 five five buildings in this game. Uh, just not that many of them. I think a battery over here is also good. Oh, I don't... Uh, you know what? We do have to build them. I'm just going to be careful not to build, like, all our batteries right now. Because if we build too many, we'll be too low on alloys, even though we're pumping alloy out pretty fast. It's just, like, uh, spending that many on, uh, what, six batteries is quite a lot of, quite a lot of alloys. Uh, 240 of it, to be precise. Alright, we do have enough of this stuff now to get a sort of another... Actually, I should build... Man, there's so much stuff I want to build right now. None of it's necessary is the real painful part. Yeah, nothing more than an optical illusion. Literally does nothing. It's fine. Does get us quite a lot of science from like the other parts, though. Now, the fusion station does not actually do what you would think it does. It's not an electricity generating thing. Uh, it lets you melt ice, and then you can use the melted ice for crops, which is weird because you'd think you could just melt ice, but apparently no. Um, so that is what we've got going on here. I want to just double check. I'm pretty sure that the next set of solar panels are 202. Yeah, that's going to be a little bit tricky. We might have to use tech to get our next... Uh, level of that. That's fine, though. Alright, so we've reached here. Uh, the thing is, we have to establish the advanced neocon uh, colony infrastructure, which is very expensive. And we don't actually have the uh, specific crew that we need for that. So, kind of have to just rely on whatever. Uh, we'll go ahead and send this guy over. 
doesn't really matter too much. So that'll slowly get done, but for now we still do have to get like the silicone and stuff like that. Uh, and that's going to take a long bloody time. Uh, looks like we're done at Plymouth, so we're going to send you over to Fargo 39. I'm surprised that we got that uh, science harvested that quickly. So one of our science ships is basically going to be locked on that colonization planet until we can actually get colonists made, uh, which is going to take a long bloody time. Uh, we're down to 362. We actually have okay amounts of uh, electricity right now. So I can put two of these back here. Then we just go like this. And then I can build those batteries up that way. Okay, so... Uh, Fargo 39, we've got... Uh, we took advantage of the drop in wind speed to descend land on Fargo 39. Gravity is intense and several of our measure, um, measuring instruments have failed despite the extreme hostile environment we're preparing to make uh, sword into the signal location. So if you don't have exoskeletons, these are all still possible, but you lose crew and some of them are much more dangerous. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, pick this one. That's why we paid for it. Like, you know, obviously we're going to use it if we took it. And this is going to get us the best uh, chance of survival and make it so that our crew uh, gets us the most resources out of this place. So that's why we get these stupid techs, even though I don't like them. Okay, we got another one of those. I have to research all of these techs here to get access to Tier 3. That's what we're doing here. That's why, why I'm talking about sort of Tier 3 stuff here. Um, there's 270 carbon. We are starting to see more of this other stuff fluttering in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, up-prioritize carbon for these guys. And I'm going to go ahead... Oh, wait. Yeah, no, that's fine. What the hell? I think I've been running with two cargo ships this entire time. Maybe not, though. Okay. So for this part, um, the thing that we're supposed to do is survey the cargo ship first, and then recover any archive data, and then return to the Xanadu. I'm going to double check this, because I, it is possible to make mistakes here. Um, I think if we attempt to do this one, we actually just lose the science crew. Um, cannot remember even the name of the stupid planet while we're on it. Fargo 39. Just type in Farg and search there. Um, yep, I was correct. It is survey first. Like I said, these ones don't give you the best indication as to which of these ideas is safest, but that one always feels the safest to me. But the game doesn't really consistently treat you well when you just go by what makes sense. It it usually works until it doesn't. All of a sudden. Okay, so we got a new transport ship here. This one's going to similarly be, I think, uh, carbon right now. We should see some silicone coming in, but like... I don't think we need to worry about that resource just yet. Should be approaching tier 3 tech pretty soon here. After Fargo, I think we'll have enough to get it. No, we won't. We'll be a little bit short. Well, regardless. Our production should be kicking in a little bit better now. It's just the amount of these polymers that I need is a little bit ob obnoxious, honestly. And I don't have enough energy to power this thing, so that's a bit of a problem. Alright, cell housing has been unlocked. That's something we cannot really use right now, but it is very, very good. Go ahead and grab the legislative uh, whatever. Um, this is where I kind of wish I had some more pod people. Like, increase our population by a little bit. That would actually be kind of good here. Let's see what I can turn off. 
I can turn off you for the time being. Uh, this is way too much. I should have turned that off ages ago. Uh, technically, I can turn you off. I need to get 30, 30 electricity, which is uh, kind of a lot. It's kind of a lot. Like, we've easily cleared that number, but we actually need a little bit more so I can turn on this thing. I think we're also, like, on cap for garbage, so I kind of want to turn on this right now. I'm actually going to turn on this instead. Uh, we're on extra hours in this sector. That's bad. Uh, over by 11. So, the thing is, this thing is worth three of these guys, but only takes the same amount of, like, workers, basically. It's ten workers versus, like, eight workers. So... 24 workers or 10 uh, so this is this is actually quite good this will get us a few of these chips which we badly need and uh, we should be okay right now um, I have been around for quite a while though so I'm kind of worried about time because I do have to get another point of stability from somewhere that is kind of what we're teching up towards as best as we can but I also need more population to really make use of it so admittedly just here uh, this place needs to have 400 people Still, though, this is going to be uh, what we're doing for a little while here. Yeah, we get to have um, 30 extra science there. Yeah, so the Adamaneki, which is the what was attacking the Protagoras, has been blown up by something else. So we'll learn more about that in Chapter uh, 3, I believe. Grab that science. It's not going to quite get us where we need it to. We have collected and analyzed enough data to locate the Protagoras on the planetary system map via Hope Scan. Now, one thing I can do is the Legislative Strengthening Center um, in each sector to get it just to the point where we're happy enough to deal with a bunch of other problems. Because if you're in negative, it gives you plus two. So uh, the ideal is to ride at a negative one everywhere. Um, and then that will get you just enough to, like, stay at, like, that negative one value, uh, or a plus one value, essentially. And if you go into positives, then you're in positives. If you're at neutral, you're in neutral. Like, those are both fine to be at. So that's how that sort of works. <clears throat> Have we started getting any silicone in yet? Not yet. Up to 34 over here. Okay. Send you over there. This place, like, it takes a while to get all the stuff delivered here anyway. We're still sending food and we're still, like, gonna be a while before that's actually out there, so... We're kind of okay right now. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'll be back in just a little bit here. Okay, so we're back. So this is the next important step. This is scanning the Protagoras. The only option is to drill through the ice. This is the other ship that they mentioned in the prologue that they were sort of building in which headed out over here and then gets destroyed by the Edmanaki, uh, which in turn gets uh, destroyed by the, uh, I can't remember the name of it, blah, blah, blah. A lot of ships out there. A lot of fish in the sea. Um, I'm in a hurry to get some text through, though. Uh, that's the important thing for me. Uh, we want the DLS center upgrade is what I ended up picking uh, because it's going to boost all three of our sectors by plus one happiness. Um, and that's, I think, going to be our best bet. But, uh, yeah, we do need some chips. I do need to get uh, to a higher level of um, processing for a lot of things here, so... More power is going to be necessary in just a little bit here. And to get that power, I do need lots of nonsense. Uh, we're still getting chips out of here, but uh, they're pretty slow and they're pretty expensive. So it's not great to get them out that way if you can help it uh, get some other way. Um, I'm still just a little bit short on electricity here. I can turn off some of these since we're behind now on this. We do have plenty of alloys though, so it's not like we're in danger. It's just we're, you know, behind. 
So we start getting chips out. That's going to be good. We've got... Um, part of it's because like we got our uh, transport chips. Only a small number of them are actually getting uh, iron right now. Uh, we actually got another one for free from a quest, so that's also quite good. But uh, the Protagoras should get us a decent amount of science that should propel us up to where we need to be. And I still need to get like chips that I can get to Deville 59, which is a major issue for us, is the slowness with which I've been doing that. Um, I can use this building to train colonists. It's just, you know... Um, I need to get 60 of the bastards, and it's going to be hard for me to actually get that with the way things are right now. Because I can't get the chips, because uh, every time you train a group of 15 of them, you need a chip. Uh, so that's just very expensive. I need four chips so I can get all the chips in here for the next level of the uh, power generation. And I don't even have enough carbon right now for that, so... Uh, that is all coming in. It's just, it has to be something that I wait for a little bit. Let's see if we get the science that we need out of the Protagoras, because I cannot remember. Uh, the only thing I remember out of Protagoras is that it does have a bunch of people in it, and uh, if you talk to the elders, they will kidnap some of your crew, by which I mean they'll convince your crew to stay at the Protagoras. Um, even though it's a doomed ship that is locked in ice and the people there are just barely surviving. So, fun life for them. Glad they're having a good time. I'm just going to double check how much carbon's available. 195, that's enough, okay. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we're... No more resources available to mine. Doing fine here. Uh, no more resources to mine. We could throw out more probes. I don't really feel like that's what we want to do just yet, so we'll wait a little bit on that. Um... It does take quite a while to get some of the stuff here, but... Okay, so lots more pro uh, lots more pod people, and more importantly, lots and lots and lots of science. Um, the pod people could be actually kind of okay right now, but it's not the biggest concern I've got. Like, what I would really like is the tech, which we are getting, so that should boost us to the point where we got the upgraded DLS centers. And with the upgraded DLS centers, I can turn this sector back on to limited crew, so I can turn on the food again. Which, uh, we don't technically need that badly, but... Yeah, that was all the science from the Protagoras already. Already picked it up. Got total monitoring, though. That is the thing that we're trying to get off there. Uh, we could also activate the Dolo Survivor Families. We got just enough tech for that. That'll give us another plus one. But I think what we want to do is get the Demotic Quarters pretty soon. I'm not sure, actually. Uh, we do have to get this, so I might as well, while I'm thinking about that. Wouldn't mind actually getting Intelligent Lab, which uh, almost doubles the amount of passive science that we get, and then you can eventually get Computing Optimization. Uh, I could also get Thermal Regulation. This will get us another little bit of power about seven points. It's not very much. It's not really enough that I feel like that's worth it right now. Um, I feel like what we have to kind of get right now is probably the extra happiness. There's a lot of different things that I need and I've got relatively scarce uh, amounts of science to deal with it right now. I think actually what I want to do first is get the steel mill upgrade. Uh, makes it so that science is cheaper, uh, alloys are cheaper. So the uh, sort of amount of stuff that we're getting here, we can sort of make do with what we have a little bit more easily. All right, so now we are on the clock again. Oops, forgot about power. That's fine. We can afford to lose a little bit of happiness here. Uh, we can turn that off. And I think we can turn off one of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes. This is why I was saying we need more power, like, so badly. It's 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 a desperate situation as far as that goes. Um, I do need to continue consuming chips. We've currently got 15 colonists. I need to get up to 60, I believe. Let's double check that. Yep, I need 60, so I need four chips worth of colonists. Very expensive, very difficult to get. This thing still gets continues slowly producing them. This is going to more quickly produce them, but we don't have a lot of those resources. Uh, I am maybe going to knock this back. Because I do need all these pod people, but I don't need them that fast. Well, what I can do at this point is actually just have both our science ships in here. And just turn off this. We're not mining anything right now. And that'll free up a little bit of electricity here. 
I want to recover our food stores because we've actually sort of like tanked those pretty badly in the last little while. And this will sort of help out with that just a tiny bit. Now, we also are going to have to start delivering a whole ton of resources over to the Protagoras. And that includes a lot of food, so... That's one of the reasons why I'm wanting to get back on production of food. In fact, I actually might benefit from getting another mushroom wall soon. Our garbage output's been pretty okay, but we don't have like a ton available right now. Uh, am I going to have enough chips if I just stick with what we got? I think I have to do a little bit more chip processing from garbage, but... The amount of silicone that's out here is pretty good. Um, probably 45, I need one more, and then I need four more for electricity. It's 120 silicone, but all I need is this one through here, so I don't need any more... I don't need any more in this sector. Just gonna turn that off, switch that to that. That should make it so that this one goes automatically to here and the next one, all, all the next ones go to here. I think. In any event though, we've got, uh, got some time. I could jump over to Parenti, but uh, since we're getting resources from south here still, I'm actually gonna high prioritize a couple of these. Once we get those done, we'll be a little bit better off. We got the alloy development tech, which is very nice, very efficient. Um, I would like to also get the shaping working behavior, but at this point in time, like we're tech bottleneck too hard. We'll get a nice boost out of colonizing this planet, but that's going to take a little while here. This is a colonization experiment. We're not like trying to create a permanent colony there, so don't worry about the people we send there. We are going to get them back, uh, essentially, where they'll come back onto our ship and be useless again. It'll be great. Okay, so I actually want to get like one more chip after this and I want to get another mushroom wall so we got more soup surplus of food rolling in. Our food surplus has not been very high. Uh, so that's kind of necessary for us to get more of. And more efficient food production is also going to be pretty good. Oh uh, yeah, we got enough of this now. So I'm gonna actually going to set it so that we're uh, flooding the sector with polymers. So that we're just freeing up that storage. But on paper, we have enough right now to get that started, basically. That way, this won't bottleneck uh, this thing, so we'll keep producing. Yeah, we got two chips in here. I need four. So we just need two more. We're good. But uh, yeah, that's how things are going to be for the next little bit here. Just have to wait for stuff to come in. Uh, I do want one more so I can make another mushroom wall, so we'll keep that on that way. I might have enough from silicone, though, and that might be the better choice. Hmm. I think we'll ignore that for just a little bit here that we're starting to pull up these guys because we should stop getting them in that quickly or we shouldn't be getting them in that quickly regardless is the thing man I would be so happy if I had enough resources to get two new solar panels which I think we might but uh, a bit of a tricky call there Okay, so that consumed one of these. Um, I'm trying to figure out if we sent... Nope, we didn't. Okay, this is the last one that we're going to need for this. So we want to make sure we turn this off before we consume another um, chip. So we sort of want to keep an eye on this. But uh, it's kind of fine. I think we've got... Yeah, nothing going on there. Okay. Okay. 
Just have to slowly wait this last little bit here. Okay, so we turn that off now. We have to do a transfer. I have to send 60 colonists from Sector 2 to Sector 6, where we're going to be able to shovel them out. So we want to make sure it's only colonists to sector, uh, from Sector 2 to Sector 6. So start that migration. Once they get over there, they'll hop into ships and they will be sent on their merry way to that new colony planet uh, that we've got going on. Um, still got a little bit of iron down there. I want to also high prioritize this guy. Not that. And potentially this one. These ones kind of as well. There's actually just a lot of resources because we're going to be jumping north. We're going to be then jumping to Rokotansky, then to uh, Deville 59, and then down to the Protagoras. That's the route that we're sort of going to take. If we jump away now, like, we just have to travel a lot further to get these resources. And that makes things a bit awkward. So this should already be going now. Transport ships should be grabbing a whole bunch of people and sending them on their merry way. And uh, yeah, that'll be nice. Looks like we can turn this on now. Okay, so our hull integrity is not looking great. Our energy is not looking great. There's a lot of little problems that we got just at this exact moment. I can turn this off for the time being, and I can turn on another one of these, and I think I can even turn on another one of these. And I'll just make it so that we do that way faster, but also I could just turn off our um, production of the solar panel for a little bit We'll bounce back our hull really, really fast because we got so many things working on it. And then we'll be fine. I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to let it go for a cycle or two. It's moments like these that I like having multiple EVA airlocks, having three or four of them. We'll probably end up with four, I think. Still don't know why you can't like split so that some are maintaining the hull integrity and some are working on the new, uh, it's like all or nothing is a bit weird, but whatever. Okay, we, we still have garbage, right? Okay, what I want to do is actually go like this. Looks like that's done. All right, and with that electricity, I can turn this back on, but we still don't have the silicone in yet. Slow trickle of pod people is kind of painful. All right, I don't know why they can't bring 60 people. I can't imagine the people are as big as, like, the uh, amounts of other stuff that we're bringing in here, but however they want to do it, I guess. Okay. Either way, um, yeah, that's going to be probably our episode for today. We've got a lot of good stuff done. Doing not too terribly here. Do you have those resources for this mushroom wall? And we just want to get like a whole bunch of these. That's going to be kind of, I think, how things go here. Um, it's going to take a while for us to get several mushroom walls, but once we do, very, very, very uh, good for our uh, economy because we'll change the sector into a tier two uh, recycling center. And that's going to give us a humongous boost in terms of how much stuff we're getting. So uh, being able to produce way faster, way more, and uh, way more efficiently, especially with the recycling buildings. They produce two chips instead of one, uh, which is really, really powerful. Uh, still, though, um, yeah, so hope you found this episode enjoyable. And, of course, as always, hope to see you guys all next time.